everybody, this is the third video in my Sparrow tutorial series, and today I'm going to go over event handling. Uh, I'm here in the Sparrow Wiki, and I'm just going to be looking around. I'm going to be using this hand in head with my tutorials, and so yeah, let's start. Um, you can first. I think it's better to learn by example. That's why you're watching the video. So I, we're going to make a demo app first, and then we're going to install the event. So first, um, just uh, go back to your downloaded Sparrow folder. And the same file we opened last time. So samples, barebone, source, exploit project. Open that. And now you should get the thing where you left off yesterday. So delete everything between the if self equals super and it with width and to the end in brackets. So you should see something like this an empty, empty, um, like basically no no code that you've written ourselves. So you should have like a blank slate. Alright, so now that we have a blank slate, we can start coding. Uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to make a button and using a texture. Then we're going to add event handling to it. So first to make our button, we need to have a texture for it. So And that texture usually comes from a file. So I made a little picture of a button here that I'll upload for you guys to use. So yeah, take that button, um, drag the button image to resources. Copy to your destination folder. Finish. Oh, sorry. Ah, made a mistake. Oh yeah, sorry. I already copied over. But yeah, copy the button image to your resources folder. And next, what you want to do is make the texture. So you do sp texture star. Oops, sorry, my bad. Sp texture. Use autocomplete. It saves a lot of time. Star text. Uh, it's called button text. Equals open bracket sp texture texture and then tab 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 texture with contents of file and you put at open code for a string the name of our file and if you use mine then it's button.png and then you close this bracket and then you put a semicolon okay now I have texture so basic so yeah we have like the graphic stored in memory and it's called button text now we're gonna make the button so let's put sp button star let's call it button equals um open bracket sp button button with upstate so tab tab with upstate you want an sp texture and we made one here button text and then close the bracket put semicolon now we have a button and it's using the texture of the the button we our button texture from the image file. Last thing to do is you should know this. Add it to the main stage. So self add child button. Okay, so now I've made a button and we've given it the texture button texture from our file. Now it's running the simulator. And I'll be back when it compiles. Okay, I'm back and it compiled. So we have a the blue button in the top right hand corner, zero zero of our screen. Now I click this button, it has a fancy effect, like it shrinks and stuff, which is a nice effect that Sparrow does all on its own. And while that's handy, our button doesn't actually do anything, and that's where event handling comes into play. Just close that app and hide it. I mean and just stop it just stop it running in the simulator. And now we're gonna add event handling. So an event is is something fired whenever you do an action on screen. So let's see. If I press minimize on this Xcode window, it tells an event, hey, Mac OS X, minimize this window. Likewise, if I click on that, let's say, hey, Mac OS X, the user clicked on the button in the dock, maximize it again. It's a pretty simple concept. And now, I think, uh, if you don't get it at first, after doing it by example, I think you should be able to get it. Okay, enough talking. So now let's. So the way it works is you have to tell Sparrow to listen for an event. So you have to tell Sparrow to, hey Sparrow, listen, when when our button is pressed, then do this function. Uh, and the function could do anything, it's just a normal function. Like it, it logs something or it could show a new screen. It's up to you, what do you want to do? So anyways, enough talking, let's add this. So you put open bracket, self, I mean sorry, no, open bracket, button, Add event listener out of complete. At selector, um, like that's how you call functions. Like in, yeah, the function way for Objective C. Add selector, and let's call our function 
button pressed. We haven't made it yet, so yeah, make it called button pressed with a colon after it, okay? And then press tab, add object self, because it's on this stage. For type, this is the important thing, we have to do sp event type triggered. And this is in all caps, and you can use autocomplete. Okay, so now if we look at this line of code, we're going to see button, or retain, hey Sparrow. Add in the listen for events calling from our button, and at on this stage, for type event, for type event type triggered. So when our button is triggered, run the button pressed function. And if you're wondering why there's a colon there, it'll pass the sp event parameters. Um, yeah, it'll just pass the sp event parameters to it. Okay, so I hope you understand now. We uh, added the event listener, and now last thing we have to do. We gotta make our function itself. So, you know how to make Objective C functions. Um, you do dash void uh, button pressed, and this is the important part. You put colon and then parentheses sp event star event. Okay. See why we put? Remember why we put a colon here is because we're passing the event as a parameter. So yeah, we have sp event event. And now, all we're going to do, this is a simple test, we're going to nslog, oh, oh god, uh, what did I do, yeah, sorry, nslog, um, at colon, at quote, hey, the button was press, yeah, no, it doesn't do much, but you could make, basically do anything, so yeah, save, so, I'm going to press compile, and while it's compiling, Basically, what it should do is, when you press the button, it's going to nslog, and I'm going to open my console here. So let's see what it does. Um, hope I didn't mess anything up, but... Yeah. Hold on. Uh, actually, I'm back. Um, for some reason, I had a blank screen when I ran it. If you're having that problem, just stop it and rerun it, and it should work. Okay, so anyways, I'm going to run in simulator, and I'm watching my console. I mean, it has these problems, but ignore that. So now, I'm going to press the button, you have the fancy effect. Hey, look at this. Hey, the button was pressed. You can keep hitting it, and you'll keep spamming the console. But yeah, you guys should understand this. So I hope you understood this, uh, I tried to make a short tutorial on event handling. And if you want to record events on a touch, that's a... Uh, pretty complicated because there's like touch ended, touch start, and I'll make the next video soon on the, um, on the, on touch events. So thanks for watching, and I hope you guys learned something from this. Happy coding.